Does your control panel look like a nest of cables and wires? What if I told you it's possible to power that same panel with one cable? Hi, my name is David Pirro, and today I'll be talking about the Rockwell Automation's crossboard system, as well as showing you a mock installation. The crossboard is perfect for someone looking for an out-of-the-box power distribution solution. This device cuts down on the time and space required to wire up a control panel while exceeding safety expectations. It does this by removing the need to wire each device individually. Some of the key features of Rockwell's crossboard system are it's modular and expandable, meaning that you can take any device you have currently and add it to this device to customize to your exact setup, and you can add on to it over time. You're not locked into the initial setup. It's something that can be added to whenever you need to add more devices to your power distribution system. It's compatible with all standard DIN rail mounted devices. You can take any device you're currently using, put an adapter on it, and attach it to the crossboard. You don't have to buy any special products. All the modules require no tools to attach the adapter. You can just use a simple screwdriver to pull it off and move on. This will save you some time with wiring each of these devices, as well as reducing the amount of space in your panel that these devices typically take up. All of these devices are touch safe, so you'll meet and exceed all of your safety standards that you currently see. If your power distribution system has a lot of motor starters, circuit breakers, and fuses, this is a great system to utilize to save space and time with wiring and setting the system up. All of these devices easily plug into the crossboard and can be added to over time. The standard configuration of the crossboard has three components, a crossboard base, a supply module, and any adapters needed to attach your devices to the board. The board comes in two different sizes, a 225 and a 405 millimeter design and mounts directly to any standard DIN rail or is panel mountable. As for your power options, you can choose between a 48 and 100 amp power supply, depending on your application's needs. For every device you'd like to install onto the board, you'll require a universal adapter that attaches your module to the board while simultaneously powering the device. No additional wiring required. These adapters come in four varieties single pole, a three pole, moldy case circuit breaker, and a fused adapter. The 405 millimeter base variant costs about $200, while the 205 millimeter will cost you $130. To provide power to the crossboard, you need a supply module, with the 48 amp module running you $50 and the 100 amp about $60. To connect your devices to the base, you'll need to purchase adapters which range from $15 to $30 for single pole adapters, $30 to $50 for three pole, and $200 for moldy case circuit breakers. If you want pricing on specific adapters and configurations, check out our website down below. Hi, I'm gonna show you a quick installation of the Rockwell crossboard system. To start, this board can be mounted either through panel mounting, utilizing your mounting holes here, or simple DIN rail mounting. Once your crossboard is mounted, now you're going to want to run power to your supply module, which is going to power the entire crossboard to allow you to attach your individual devices. To start, you just pop your cover off, you run your main power wire into here and attach it to your three phase lugs. Once this device is wired, you can just plug it onto your crossboard and this will energize the bus bar located inside this crossboard. Once you have power run to your crossboard, you can now get started adding your end devices. Um, I have a motor starter here. This device, we've already wired it, just to show you the ease of use to attach to the crossboard. Once you have this device wired, it's just a matter of plug and play. And you can do the same again with any of your other devices. So I have a mini circuit breaker. Again, single pole circuit breaker. We already wired this before. Just plugs into the crossboard. Once your crossboard is powered and your devices are on the board, you, there's no additional wiring except for the wiring required to your end devices. So any motors connected to your motor starter, you connect here, anything going to your circuit breaker, be wired there. Cuts down to your amount of wiring you're doing, you're not wiring the devices twice, it's just a plug onto the board and then wire your end device. The nice part about this system is it's modular and it's designed so you can change it as time goes on uh, or rearrange devices if needed or if you need to add or remove devices, it's very simple to do, utilizing the mounting clips and the removal devices on the top with a simple screwdriver. I'm gonna show you how to attach the devices to the adapter. I have a three pole adapter and a motor starter circuit breaker. The motor starter circuit breaker is DIN rail mountable clip it onto the adapter, and now you're ready to wire the legs. Okay. 
And now you're ready to install this to the crossboard. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you want more information, click the link below or contact me.